There's a couple uh, couple pyramid bridges in progress. I cut the blanks out. I drilled the holes. I actually taped and stacked them together and drilled the holes at the same time. Um, <clears throat> I then went over to the sander, a disc sander, and, and sanded this bevel onto the end, which I had laid out. I just made an assumption that it was like a 45, and I was trying to figure out a way to build a, a sled for the router that I could just run it across a 45 cutter, you know, and get that angle, and then run it up a ways and up a ways, and then do the rest by hand. But this is like a 65 and a half degree bevel. So anyway, um, so there's this little indent right here. So this this comes down and then ramps back up to the pyramid, and then the pyramid also goes up the side. So the pyramid here, and then I have a pyramid here, and a pyramid here, and that all blends into this angle, which I have marked down here, which I'm about halfway to filing. And I'm wanting to stop a little shy of where I where I need to end up, where my finish needs to end up, just so that I can, you know, go at it through a series of grits of paper. Uh, just happen to have this pile of paper here, not necessarily related to this project. And I'm I'm doing this off of the plan that I had from Dan McCroskey. Just calls it a triple O guitar plan. Whoops. Well, that's not good. That's not bad. That all gets filed off anyway. But I'm, uh, I'm trying to pull my slot over here. I needed to go center down a little bit. I'm going to grab another another rasp here. This tool I really like for uh, carving necks. This dragon, dragon rasp. Say this was a total experiment. I have never done this, but it is a piece of wood, and it's being carved. And I'll get a, a, a dowel, or actually, probably just wrap some sandpaper around this file and get in here and get this cleaned up once I'm close to where I want to be. And. The trick here will be to get this diamond, this side of the pyramid, cut without getting into into here, because I don't want to. I don't want to slide over into that. What I should do before I do this one is take this down. There's basically from the bottom of this to this edge is is a plane, and then I'll take this down. I'm going to go that route. Way too easy to slide into here and screw that up. Let me run over and look at the plan. It's a unique, uh, unique design.
And just in case you don't know, by looking, this is ebony. And uh, ebony is an interesting wood because it's really hard, but it's really not very difficult to, to shape. All right, I'm going to take this over and look at the plan. Hold it up where you can see the, the line I had sketched on there. You see that? Get an idea of how that's coming downhill here. It needs to go a little deeper over here. And I've got this side, but like I said, I, I knocked the uh, line off already, so you can't really see it, but a little deeper to go here. Well, I should have looked before I started doing all this. Uh, this this angle is way steeper than it should be. It should be flatter. It should come across a little flatter than that. But that's fine. This this is the same elevation right now as this, and it needs to be slightly lower. Oops, get back in the camera. So this this point needs to be lower anyway. So I'm going to bring this over and uh, flatten it out some. Probably go back to the sander for that. This, I'm going to have to change this bevel before I do too much more because I want to make sure I get it. I'm going to go do that. Took it over and I re reworked to the end of bevels. And they are much closer to what they are on the print. Now they're not quite as long as they are on the print. And then I uh, came on and rounded this over into this area. And I have this, this lip here. I'm going to leave that because it needs to be a little thinner than that, but i got to leave some room for sanding. And then I just need to bring this edge over as well for the pyramid. So I'll roll it down with the rat, rat tail and then I'll bevel that off. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be like a, another pyramid that comes down in here. Uh, how that works. Maybe I went down too deep here. But on the plan, when you look at it on the plan, it just shows uh, from the elevation it just shows two flat troughs right here so the plan is not doing me any favors but you know what it's going to be a bridge and I'm not Martin so it doesn't have to look exactly like Martin I don't like filing uphill but I can't see what I'm doing otherwise to that point so I need to double down here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm down below there. So I'm just gonna center this up and I would call that good. Then just go after it with sandpaper. Oh, actually, that's supposed to come all the way out. So here I've got a, I've got a ridge. <laughs> I've got a full hip roof here, but I got a ridge, and we just or full hip with no ridge. That's what we're after. So I'm just checking here. Yep, I'm still having it. So this actually has to come all the way over to here. I don't think it looks bad. It just doesn't necessarily look like it's supposed to which I'm not sure I'm gonna to have to look up some pictures and see how this stuff is supposed to look I don't have any pyramid bridges hanging out got Johnny guitars I'm gonna hold it in a few different angles just so you can kind of see what it looks like. Now, of course, the rest of the bridge isn't carved yet. So this gets a radius, a 16 inch radius on top of it. And then the other end gets carved, of course. So I, uh, I looked it up. And the Stu Mac one is, uh, is pretty much exactly like what I've got here. It's, so they don't show you a very good picture of it. It's kind of kind of blurry, but it does the same sort of thing. 
and it definitely looks like my plan so I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with it I'm gonna go ahead and get this turned around and do the other end but I'm not gonna have you watch that um, so there you go so I'm sanded it out to like 180 on this thing um, not sure how good of definition you're gonna see here but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this is it perfect absolutely not um, anyway but I think that the this little ramp back to the to the center on both sides looks pretty good um, it rolls it rolls kind of into there and then up and then these all meet at a nice point right there as does this one and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish sand it uh, probably 320 and uh, and then I'm gonna have to figure out a way to put a slot in this thing so yeah so that's it so I've got another one to do uh, not doing that today <laughs> um, I'm gonna say that this was probably the most challenging thing on the build so far um, and like I said, it's not perfect, but it's, you know, I don't think anybody's going to walk up and say, you know what, that should have been a little, whatever, you know. I'll tell you right now that the hump on this side, the top of the diamond, is about 10,000 higher than the diamond on that side. Well, that's it. That was the bridge. Thanks for watching, folks. Appreciate it if you made it to the end. Take care. All right. Hi, Dane here. Uh, so it's to finish up on these um, pyramid bridges that I was started here. Um, so this is the first one. This this bridge get, this bridge actually looks more like the drawing on the plans that I have. I'm trying to hold it in such a way that you can see. You can see that this line is much more of a slope than the end line is. Same thing on the other end. If I can get it in the camera correctly. There we go. Anyway, um, and then the second, the second one turned out differently. Now I don't have any of the corners eased off yet. This one. This one you can see that I have the edges kind of softened. Well, I can't see it, and I'm looking at the monitor, so where are they? There we go. Has the edges soft. You know what? I should have just gotten this guitar out of the way. But anyway, uh, I don't have a place to lay it. So, <clears throat> this is the same, same basic uh, sizes. It's, uh, you can see that I have a little more of a, a radius through here. Well, maybe you can see it. Yeah, through there. And the pyramid is more evenly shaped from this side to that side. It is still more sloped on the inside one, the inboard one, than the than the outside one there. And then, of course, the uh, from the end, it's the same. They're the same on either side. So um, that's it. I've got these both sanded out to like 220. I'm going to go take the edges off of this one. And then I'll probably finish up at three, 320, maybe 400. I might, I might take the point off of these a little more. These are at three thousandths, uh, 335 thousandths right now. I think they're supposed to be down around 270 according to the drawing and now this one is closer to that target right here so anyway and then the other side is actually just ten thousandths lower um, so we're I'm okay with both of these quite honestly I don't think that uh, that design how exact that design is. The ones that I saw at Stumac looked more like the drawing. I've seen other replacement uh, pyramid bridges that actually look more like this one. 
with the uh, you know stricter uh, roundness there you can see if I put them both up in here that this one has got more of a rounding in it than than the other one can I do this and get them both in the camera oh, of course not always got to go the wrong way uh-huh so left is right right is left up is down and sideways is backwards okay but we've got it all so anyway there's the the main difference between the two so that's it um, I'm gonna go make myself a little jig now that I can put this in and router this uh, slot on an angle all right that's it